Hi everyone and welcome to the Mumbod YouTube channel. Today I've got a 30 minute kettlebell workout for you where we're going to be building on each exercise. Um, I've got two kettlebells that I'll be using. I've got an 8 kilo kettlebell and for the last section I'll switch over to my 12 kilo kettlebell. We've got three circuits. Exercise, oh sorry, circuit A and circuit B will be performed three times and then circuit C will be performed twice. You'll be working for 30 seconds with a 10 second rest in between. Uh, follow along, do your best and work hard. So we're going to be starting off with a four minute warm up and then we'll get stuck in. So if you want to come and join me down on the mat, we'll be starting off on uh, all fours. Okay, so joining me on the mat, kneeling down, we're going to start off with thread the needle. So take one hand through, thread it down, get your shoulder onto the floor and look at that hand threading through. Back to centre, hand down, going to go through the other way. So again, threading through, coming back up. Inhale, exhale, as you move through, that rotation should be in the upper part of your back. Keep your hips as square as possible. Okay, coming up, we're now going to take our elbow, we're going to tap the floor, opposite leg is going to glide back as you open out, and again, repeat, same elbow comes down, opposite knee, opposite leg is going back, open it out, keep it going, one more on this side, open it out, we're going to put that hand down, changing side, so elbow down, Open it out. Elbow down. Open it out. Elbow down. Open it out. 15 more seconds here. Tap it down. Open out. Okay. Both hands on the floor. We're going to go into bird dog, working one side at a time. So, right arm, left leg is going to extend away. We're then going to do a knee to elbow tap, touch in between, and extend it out. And a little tap. Open it out, bring it in. Okay, staying here for three, two, one, hand and knee down, opposite side, we're going to reach out, knee to elbow, keep breathing through the movement, feel long as you reach out, and then contract those abdominals as you bring that knee to your elbow, nice and long, tap in between, Ooh, three, Two, one. Okay, coming up into those hip flexors. So we want one knee up, one knee down. Put that pelvis under. So squeeze that glute. Sweep your arm up. And then if you can, hinge back. And again, sweep it up. And back. And again. And back. Really get that little squeeze of the glute as you come forwards. We're going to be changing legs now. So, knees down, fix those legs. Little tuck of that pelvis, squeeze that glute. Arm comes up as you, as you hinge forward and then swing it back. Feel a little stretch down that hamstring. And again. Bring it up. Make sure you can track that glute as you come forward. So, you're not going to swing and sit into it. Just a small movement, really. And one more. Bring it up. And back. Okay, coming up to standing. Just opening up those hips, bend the knee. And circle it round and round. Keep it moving. We're going to get, get stuck in. <laughs> Good speak then. Ten more seconds. And I have a little ten seconds to go grab our kettlebells. Okay, three, two, one. Right, grab your kettlebell. I'm gonna go grab my eight kilo kettlebell. I'm starting off with goblet squats. Nice simple one to begin with. Hold your kettlebell by the horns. 
I'm gonna deep squat down, inhale, exhale, up. Try and keep that back up. It's quite common to see people want to stoop over. So you want to have engagement in the upper back. Keep going, just a few more seconds. Inhale down, exhale up. Okay, you've got three, two, one, 10 second rest. Coming up next, you've got a two-handed clean. So, keep your feet where they are, should be about hip width apart, kettlebell on the floor. I'm gonna hinge to pick it up, so your hips wanna go back, nice flat back. Bringing it up nice and quick to sternum height, and then back down. I'll slow it down for you. <laughs> and down, so you can see my elbows are high to low, then high to low. Keep it going. on the floor, bring it back up. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, this is where we're gonna build on that movement. We're gonna do goblet squat into that kettlebell two-handed clean. So, watch here, we're holding our kettlebell up. We're gonna deep squat down, come up, high elbows, tap on the floor, bring it back up. And tap down, coming up, deep squat. We're gonna clean, bring it up. There we go. Slow it down if you need to. So we're just lay of the exercise really. Squats into that two-handed clean. Three, two, one. Okay, kettlebell down, come down from that. Hold a plank or a tabletop position. And do shoulder taps. Okay, so if you are on your knees and tabletop, walk your hands out a little further, make sure your shoulders are over your hands, and tap, trying to keep your core as stable as possible. If you're going up into a plank, again, core engaged, and tap without twisting. So we don't want to see any rocking and rolling. One, okay, come down. We've got 30 second rest now. I'm gonna repeat it again. Then you rest, and then repeat again. So now you've seen what we're doing. Give it a little bit more welly in this next one. Practice better positioning. Make each movement really nice and really clean, and have good breathing. So I'll talk you through an inhale, exhale on each movement. Thinking of the core and respecting our pelvic floor as well. Okay, so we've got goblet squats. Grab that kettlebell. Here we go. Inhale down, we exhale up. Core engaged. Lift your pelvic floor. Keep it nice and smooth. Watch those knees. Make sure they don't want to collapse in. Keep them gliding over the toes. So imagine you've got like a band around your knees, fighting to keep the band apart as opposed to collapsing in. Three, two, one. Ten second rest. We're going to do that two handed clean next. So, feet kind of where they were, maybe perhaps a little bit wider than hips apart. I'm going to go pick our kettlebell up. Three, two, one. Let's go, come up and back down. Nice flat back. That's what we're really focusing on here as well. Zip it up nice and strong. And again. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, next we're gonna build it up. So squat into a two-handed clean. Five seconds, let's get ready. Hold your kettlebell on sternum height, shoulders down, inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up. And really utilizing that breathing strategy, that strong exhale really tightens the transverse abdominals, which kind of like squish you in like a corset, making your core nice and strong. So let's go again. Squat. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. 10 seconds rest. Kettlebell down. You've got the shoulder taps next. Perhaps on your knees, perhaps on your toes. 
Okay, steady breathing now. Really stable. Just the core. Trust your shoulders. Three, two, one. 30 second rest, so not too bad this one. One more round, then we'll move on. Grab a drink if you've got one available. You should have a drink available. Ten seconds. Come up to standing. Goblet squats. Let's get these squats really, really good now. Three, two, one. Knees gliding forwards over those toes. Trying to keep the whole foot flat on the floor. Don't want to see any ankles coming off or heels coming off. Don't want to be so far back that your toes pop up. Okay, five seconds here. Three, two, one. Back to my little earpiece. I'm gonna go into the two-handed crease. Starting off on the floor. We're going in three, two, one. Crease from the hips. Bring it up nice and quick. Breathe it in. Breathe out. Breathe it breathe out. We're coming on 10 seconds. Three, two, one. 10 second rest. We're going to start building it now. Goblet squat into two handed kettlebell. Clean. Let's go. Three, two, one. Down. Zip it up. Make each movement nice and neat. Coming down, coming up. Come up tall. Think of those ribs stacking with your hips in between each movement. Three, two, one. Okay, kettlebell down, shoulder taps. Coming up next, I'll start on my knees to remind you what you should look like. Box position, walk those hands forward. Make sure those shoulders are over your hands before you start tapping away. You still want to have that core engaged to help keep you nice and stable. Perhaps you're on your toes, in which case, go for it. Steady breathing under that brace of your core. Two, one. Okay, big rest for whole 40 seconds to chill out. <laughs> Moving on to our next section. Let me talk about it to you first. Okay, so we've got halos. We're working that shoulder girdle. I'll go through it with you when we get to that point. Reverse lunges, and I'm going to build on it. Reverse lunge with a halo. Don't worry, I'll do it with you. First round. And get your head around the movement and second and third time work really really hard and uh, we've then got a, a dynamic hand switch just like the fourth exercise but again don't worry about it okay standing up kettlebell hold it upside down so bottom heavy now or top heavy sorry scoot it around your head so you're drawing a halo all the way around Stay nice and stable in the core trying to overly arch and swing around so you still have to keep strong all through the body Three, two, one. Okay, holding your kettlebell the right way up, holding it by the handles. Reverse lunge. Okay, so core engaged, and step back and lunge. Lunge back, and then change legs. In. 
Inhale down, exhale up, so still practicing that good breathing pattern. The pelvic floor will like, the core will like, the body will like, because you're getting oxygen in. And then letting it all out. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, this is when it's going to get complicated. We're building on it with the reverse and adding a halo in. Hold your kettlebell upside down by the handles. Hold it close to your body. You're going to step back. Here's your reverse lunge. Bring your leg in. Scoop it around your head. Reverse lunge. Come back. Scoop it around your head the other way. Here's a tip. I've got my left leg forward. Come back in. Go around my head the left way. Right leg is in front. Step back in. It goes over the right way. So it goes over the front leg. Three, two, one. Okay, dynamic hand switch. So here, if you want your kettlebell between your feet, you're gonna have that flat back again. You're going to bring it up into a row. I'm gonna change hands at the top. So watch, I'm gonna pull and change. Pull, change. What you want is the kettlebell going down towards your feet. So your hips go back. You will feel it in your lower back if you are away from your body. See, really neat and close. Strong breath out as you come up. Deep breath in and out. Three, two, one. Okay, a little fiddly, but so good for you. Nice in the exercises, let's do it again. Giving it a little bit more oomph. Keep resting. 15 seconds from the top, put the halos, then reverse lunge. The reverse lunge with halo, then the hand switch, bent over, rows. Okay. Halos. Hold it upside down. We're going round the head. Keep it nice and neat. Three, two, one. Okay, you've got reverse lunge coming up next. Hold your kettlebell the right way around this time. Either handle. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Inhale down, we exhale up. Keep going at your own pace. Might be even quicker than me, might be a bit slower. That is fine. Just work with control for 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Okay. Pick it up a little bit now. Reverse lunge, adding on that halo. We'll scoot over the leg that was in front. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, nearly there. Three, two, one. Okay, 10 second rest. Got that dynamic hand switch now. Really nice flat back, remember. Kick bar between the feet. Three, two, one. And it up and change. I'll show you from this angle. Switching change. From this angle, you can see it's going down towards my feet. My hips are going back. Plug. Three, two, one. Okay, kettlebell down. 30 seconds, grab a drink if you need it. One more round coming up. Woo! Ten 
second. Going again with the kettlebell halo, and then reverse lunge. So we had them both together, and then dynamic hand switch. Okay, here we go. Stay strong in that core, don't swing back into your knees. Slightly like soften them. Stay focused, stay strong. Three, two, one. Okay, uh, reverse lunge is coming up next. Hope you like that appearance of my pug. I just wandered off into the bedroom now. Okay, <laughs> reverse lunges, here we go. Step it back and up. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, ten second rest. Dynamic hand switch coming up next. Nice butt back, please. If you feel any niggles, stop. Right, should do. If you're positioned well, core engaged. Pressing, then change, uh, and then we're going to work a little bit posterior chain with single arm deadlifts and then a kettlebell dead stop swing. So that might be new for some of you. I'll be using my 8 kilo for the overhead press and then switching to my 12 kilo. Follow along, these are great moves to practice to get really good at kettlebells. Okay, so one knee up, one knee down. Got my kettlebell in the racked position so it's in line with my jaw. I'll face you. We're going to press up. We're going to come back down. We're going to press up. Come back down. Strong exhale. Breathe it in. Stay strong. You may need a lighter weight. If you do, grab a lighter dumbbell or a lighter kettlebell. If you're fine with your chosen kettlebell, let's stick with it. Okay, again, core engage, squeeze it, the glutes, the glutes at the back a little bit, similar to what we did in the warm up. Press up, back down. Again, squeeze that back glute a little bit, keep the pelvis in line with that rib cage. Inhale, strong press, exhale. Make sure you're going in a straight line up and not swinging it out. Protect that shoulder. Oh, okay. I'm switching over to my eight, uh, sorry, my 12 kilo now. Kettlebell. We're going to do single arm alternating deadlifts. Feet hip width apart. We're going to crease in those hips. It's going to pick it up, stand up tall, and then change arms. Inhale, exhale up. Stay on the diagonal, picking it up just in line with the feet like we did before. Standing up tall. Oh, 
Three, two, one. 10 seconds rest. Have your kettlebell on the floor. Step back slightly. We're going to go into a dead stop swing. So we're going to swing it up and put it back in its starting position. If it's a little, work, a little bit away, my hips are back. Swing it up and back to starting position. Back to start. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and repeat. One. So that's a great exercise to start practicing before you go into your kettlebell swing. So you really open up the glutes, come up tall before you open them up again, practicing that hinge motion. So yeah, I'm gonna go again, single arm maybe head press, one more round. Start off half kneeling, press a kettlebell overhead. Three, two, one. Remember that nice exhale up. Ten more seconds. Find your focus. Three, two, one. Okay, we're changing legs. Kick the bell up, back to up the shoulder, hands in line with my jaw, pressing straight up. Again, squeeze the glute a little bit. The one the leg that's at the bottom. Woo. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Kettlebell down. I'm going to switch to my heavier kettlebell. I've got a single arm alternating deadlifts. Okay, creasing at the hips. Hips go back, pick it up. Stand tall. Breathe in to go down. Exhale. Nice and strong to come up. One. Okay, kettlebell dead stop swing coming up next. Kettlebell in front of you, step back a little bit, crease in from the hips, sweep it back, contour. Make sure you've got a really, really flat back. Okay, we've got our cool down coming up next. A big well done if you've got to all of those moves. Excellent exercises to practice and get really good at kettlebells. Come down to the mat, knees and hands, nice flat back, come up and go here. We're going to cat down, cat cow, inhale as you lift, exhale as you round your back. Nice breath in. And exhale. Breathing in. And exhale. Let's do one more. Breathe it in. And exhale. Let's go back into child's pose. Relax here, deep breath in. Yeah, and breathing out. Breathe in, relax, relax. And breathe out. And breathe in again. 
and breathe out. Okay, going on to your back, lying down. Okay, we're going to drop the knees over to one side, just gentle, gentle, don't force anything. Drop them over to the other side, just keep them rocking. Keep it moving. Okay, here for three, two, one. Knees up. Bring the soles of your feet together. Open out those knees. Just relax here. Deep breath work. Have a wiggle around if you need to, just to find a nice, comfortable position. Final 10 seconds, just relaxing down here. Hands to the floor if you want to, or you can have them on your tummy. Okay, and rest. Coming round, Ooh, let's get back up. Well, a big well done if you joined in on that uh, that kettlebell workout where we built up each exercise. It's really, really good to get moving movements flowing one into the other because then we can start progressing onto kettlebell flows um, uh, and more exciting movements really with your kettlebell. Um, if you enjoyed the workout, let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.